Hi, I'm Hazel. I'm a Gold Partner and a Service Mate Consultant. Today, we're going to be talking about forms. Today, we're going to split the video into three parts. Firstly, how I use Service Mate forms in my business and how you can use them in yours. Secondly, we're going to cover how to make a basic form yourself. And thirdly, how to shortcut actually making forms and either buy ready-made templates or work with a Service Mate partner to build them for you. You'll find timestamps to all those things in the video description so that you can jump around the video if you feel like it. Let's get into it. ServiceMate Forms is an add-on available on the growing plan and upwards that allows you to build your own documents and forms within the system. So we use forms in our plumbing business to produce all sorts of things. All of our gas safety certificates are produced with ServiceMate forms. We use them for job completion reports, asset reports, condition reports, and then the health and safety side of things is covered too. So we use them for risk assessments and method statements so that you can send your RAMS paperwork uh, to any company that you're working with. One of the major benefits of using ServiceMate forms is the fact that you're keeping everything in the same place. So PDF versions of your forms get saved to the job. You can easily search for these and you've got a full audit trail. I'm going to take you through one of the most popular universal forms that your business will likely need and that's a job completion report. Forms are made up of two parts. The questions and the finished template that creates the final PDF. This might sound a little abstract, so we're just going to hop onto the computer and I'll take you through a demonstration. So we're going to jump right into this. The first thing you want to do, I'm on the dispatch board now, and the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the forms add-on switched on. So we do, and we can see that that's on. So we'll go back to settings and head over to forms, and we're just going to hit add form. Give the form a name, and you could put your company name on here if you wanted this to show in the final, the final name of the form. And we'll give it a short badge name. So the badges we'll talk about another time, but the badges allow you to do different things. We're gonna set the badge requirement as optional. Now you can see here, you've got some choices Either the form is optional or you can start to actually work this into your process. So you can say the form must be completed at check-in or the form must be completed on checkout. So if you have staff members that forget to do this on a regular basis, you can make it so that the form must be completed on checkout and that will ensure that they're reminded when they check out of a job that they need to have completed the form. So we're going to ignore form template for now and we're just going to start adding our questions. So service mate forms are made up of two parts. They're made up of a set of questions that you build into service mate here in this screen. And the second part is a word document template. And that takes the answers from your questions and pops them into a neat looking template that gets produced as a PDF at the end. So we'll start with the questions. You hit new and it'll give you the choice new question. So the first thing we're going to ask is what was the issue that was reported? And add some notes here. And when you're building questions, I'd always say keep the question itself short because this will be apparent, become apparent later, but basically what it's doing is it's creating field codes and these get included in your finished word template and they're called mail merge fields. Now, if you are old enough <laughs> or, or you used to have an office job like me where you had to do lots of mail merges, i.e. take a lot of customers' data and pop them into a letter uh, and then print out hundreds of copies of that letter. It's exactly the same technology. They're mail merge fields. You want to keep these questions short. You want to do this because you want to reduce the number of potential typos and you want to keep the merge field that's created off the back of this really as short as possible. 
So we're going to add a few more questions. We're going to ask what the work carried out was. And you can see I'm putting a slightly kind of longer question uh, in the additional details box. We can ask what materials were used. And we're going to ask whether a return visit is needed. And for this question, the previous questions we've left as question type text. But for this one, we're going to make it multiple choice. OK, so we're going to give the choice. Is a return visit needed? Yes or no? And the final question going to ask is, is the job complete and ready to be invoiced? And again, this is going to be a multiple choice question. So either the answer is going to be yes or no. So is the job complete and ready to be invoiced? Yes or no. So we have a few questions now and we're going to save that. Make sure it saves. So you can see it's appeared in our list and we're going to open that up. So the next thing to do is start to take a look at the word template. So we're going to use the download sample template button here and open up the template that ServiceMate has created for us. So what ServiceMate has done is if we pop those either side. It's taken the questions and the fields that are needed for the answer and it's popped them into a sample template. So you've got a couple of choices here. You can start prettifying this word template up and then include it as your final finished template. Or you can use your own version of a template and just copy and paste these answers, these mel merge fields into your form. So let's just make this one look a little prettier. So I'm going to swap this out for my company logo. So there's our company logo. And we've got some other fields here that describe the job number, today's date, so that's all fine. And then I'm going to sort out the margins, make that there. OK, so I'm happy with that as a basic template. So I'm going to save that somewhere I can grab it save it to the desktop, hit OK. And the next thing to do is we want to upload that to our form. So we hit select and we go find it, attach that and save it. And now you can see when we open it, we've got the option here to download current template. So that means that there's a word template attached. So let's go test this out. put this job in, open the job up. Now you can complete forms on the desktop or you can complete them on the app. So let's find our job completion report and pop in some details. So, so just a really simple description of what's happening here. Um, washes times two. Return visit needed, no. Job complete, yes. So it's going to take my answers and pop them into my template. So you can see my template here. And we've got our answers that have been included in here. So one thing I noticed while I was filling that form out was that actually I might have more information that I want to add than this little box allows me. So I'm going to go make some changes to my form now. And I'm going to select the issue reported and actually change the question type to text multi-line. And this is going to give me more space to write my description. 
And I'm going to do the same for work carried out and materials used. And I'm happy with those. So the last two questions, return visit needed and job complete, are really important. We want to make sure that those are filled out. So I'm actually going to tick them and make them mandatory. And I'll show you what that does. Now you can actually preview and test out your form without having to go to the dispatch board here. So we're going to do that now. And you can see that my single line box has turned into a larger box so that I have room. So I change this to a multi-line answer. And we're going to add our answers. And if I try and skip the return visit needed question, you'll see that it actually now prompts you and it won't let you move through the form because we've made it mandatory. And actually I've given the wrong answer there. So let's say no, and let's say yes. And you can view your form. Now it's worth bearing in mind that if you use the preview button to test out your form, then your job details and your company details won't appear here. That's not a problem. Um, it's just the way the preview button works. So if you want a full test of your form, then you would go to the dispatch board and use a test job or test it out. And if you want uh, just to test it quickly, then you would use the preview button. It's worth pointing out that you don't need to build all of your forms from scratch. The network of ServiceMate partners have gotten together and uploaded forms that they've built for you that you can buy and download. To find the form store, go to settings and then forms and hit the green form store button in the top right hand corner. Now, these all have their own charges and it's actually ServiceMate partners that decide the cost of their forms. They're grouped into different categories. So you've got inspection reports, compliance, health and safety, checklists, risk assessments, and then anything else. So if we have a look at the inspection reports to begin with, you've got a variety of forms for a variety of industries. And it's worth noting that you can actually download the templates and make changes to them and re-upload them. So if you want to make some changes and create your own form, you can use these as a jumping off point. ServiceMate Partners are a network of partners that are located around the world. And the ServiceMate Partner directory is your listing of them. Now, any partner that is comfortable with making and producing forms will have forms listed on their profile. And if you view their profile, you can see some basic details, how long they've been a partner and what their partner status is. So the partner status indicates really how many clients they've worked with. So gold partner status is the top level and indicates that they've worked with more clients than any other partner. So you can get in touch with any of the ServiceMate partners and get a quote for building your own forms. So you might have a variety of documents that you've been using in your business that you want to convert into ServiceMate ready forms. It's all perfectly possible. The partner should be able to assess the form, give you some time scales, give you a price and really build that form for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.